So the first card is temptation, and it says, at this time you be, may be tempted to take a risk or spend money you cannot afford. Um, or you might be attracted to someone who is married or committed. Avoid temptation at this particular point. So it's important for you to just watch your money, watch your finances, and watch whatever relationship you get into or decide that you get want to get into. Uh, just be very vigilant. So you've got the innocence card over here, which says um, a time when you are open to new ideas and an opportunity to build a new life. It might indicate a move, finding a child within, a time to play, don't th take things so seriously. So it looks like there's a new opportunity coming. There's a little feather coming in over here. And uh, it looks like there's new ideas either coming in or some new situation coming in for you. And also it says, you know, have a relax. Don't, you know, take some time off, um, get some downtime, um, have some fun. You've got the transformation card over here, which says a positive time in your life, undergoing a change for the better, experiences are uh, transforming you. You will view challenges more positively, success will follow, rebirth, balance, and psychic talents discovered. So something brand new coming in for you. You are changing all these experiences in life, have, are turning into something more positive and giving you a lot more experience and a lot more wisdom. Uh, in the past, you have entrapment, so you may have, you may have felt trapped by a person, career, money, or children. Uh, you also have felt uh, that things are closing around you. So you've been feeling, you can see this person's, this uh, fox has got this um, trap around his paw. You felt really trapped within the situation. Maybe this is why, um, you know, um, uh, you have been feeling maybe a little low uh, because of this, uh, you know, feeling as though you can't get out of the situation. But things are, are changing. New things are coming in. And, you know, you need to just lighten up, just take things very easy. So going to the future, you've got good advice. It will be necessary for you to seek good advice at this time because of your personal, because your personal judgment cannot be trusted. Look to those you trust and respect, such as a lawyer, doctor, broker, or family member. So in order for you to move away from any kind of situation that you feel, uh, you know, where you're feeling very trapped in, you might have to seek some advice from somebody around you. Um, get some good advice from people uh, that you love, people that you trust. Um, and, you know, that advice will, uh, you'll be able to use that to move forward. So just lighten up a little bit. Don't be so stressed out. See uh, life as an adventure uh, rather than a drudgery. And don't, don't look to the situation as it being something that traps you, but look at it as uh, how you can learn lessons from that particular situation and move on with it. So I'm going to use the Tarot Apocalypsis right now for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, uh, you've got the death card, which means that you are leaving behind the past and you are walking forward. So, um, you know, things are going to definitely uh, end. Old situations are going to definitely end. This death card, you could be dealing with a Scorpion person because Scorpio rules this particular card as well. But for um, intents and purposes, the death card talks about actually leaving behind old situations that are no longer serving you and moving away from it. Um, you know, joyfully moving away from it because this is the festival of the death, um, the day of the dead. Um, you know, they celebrate this in Mexico. So, um, you know, this is about joyous. Uh, moving away from things that are long gone, uh, learning the lessons, taking the lessons that you learned, uh, you know, from things that have um, finished and now moving forward with those lessons and forgetting the negativity, leaving the negativity behind and moving forward with positive, with hope. You can see there's lots of candles being lit over here. So, uh, you know, moving away from things that are not serving you, cutting it out uh, because it's being detrimental to your life. Um, you've got the strength card over here and the wheel. So this card here has got uh, the goddess Durga here, which is, she's uh, riding this uh, lion. 
And I like this uh, depiction of the strength card because you can see she's got all these weapons in her hands over here and she's fighting against Sivan, who is the god of uh, destruction here uh, with this snake around his head. So uh, Shiva was, is always the destroyer. So she's facing the destruction and she's winning and she's got all the tools that she needs to overcome this. And she's got this lotus flower in her hand, which is talking about the wisdom that she has gained. Um, you know, so she's been able to overcome this, but not only with physical strength and having all the tools and talents to be able to cope with it, but she's also got that wisdom and she's able to overcome these obstacles. And the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor right now. So you are physically making that wheel turn. You've got the wheel sitting in this woman's lap here. So you can see that uh, you're going to be able to overcome any difficulties. And because of that, because of you taking charge of the situation, things will go in your favor. So quite positive cards. They're all major arcana, so you know you need to do this. These are life lessons. You've got the strength, you've got the death, um, you've got the death card, the strength card, and the wheel of fortune. So three big major event uh, cards, which means that you will definitely be getting out of a situation in which you have been feeling stuck. Now, you've got the Ace of Cups in the last year, so you have moved into a new emotional cycle. Maybe there was a new relationship that came in. Something has transformed you. It's given you a lot of wisdom, and uh, you, you have transformed quite a bit over here. You've got a lot of butterflies flying over here. Uh, some new situation has begun, and um, you know you are very you have you have changed the way you have looked at things. You've got a little wheel of fortune over here. So because you have taken a different emotional um, viewpoint of things, things are starting to change or the wheel is starting to turn for you. You've got the Ace of Swords over here. So you've had a breakthrough in the way you think a new idea has come. You have also conquered a lot of problems that you have dealt with with this Ace of Swords. And you're cutting, you're managing to cut out the past as well. So all this negativity you're cutting off. And because of that, you're being able to invest in your future. You're also speaking your truth. You're saying what you mean and you're taking control of the situation. Now, you've got the high priestess on your mind, so things have not quite been revealed to you. You do um, worry about, uh, you know, things being hidden from you. But this is also a card about learning and knowledge. So maybe you're thinking about taking a new course of study, uh, something, doing something brand new that involves further education. So this could well be on your mind. Um, the high priestess is um, generally is, is somebody who waits and information comes. And it's also about cycles and changes. So you do want to transform into something different and you are going deep within yourself to look for answers as well. But it looks like there might be some kind of further course or final, further education that is coming into your arena. So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Wands over here. Uh, so it seems like you're ending a cycle where you have been putting a lot of effort and energy. This man is trying to move this pyramid with, by his own strength. He's tethered to it. So whatever project you had or whatever you've been doing has kept you very tied, very restricted. You've been putting a lot of effort, but you can't seem to shift things over here. So you are feeling very stuck and you have put in a lot of effort and energy into it. But nothing has been moving. Maybe there's been a lot of drama as well. Maybe you've been dealing with a lot of difficult people. And maybe the circumstance itself has been difficult. Even though you've been trying to change it, nothing seems to have budged. But now, with the Ten of Wands, you've got this end of the cycle. The next card would be the uh, Ace of Wands. So something brand new will come in and will start for you. But right now, all this effort and energy, maybe you're exhausted after doing all of this. All of this is coming to an end. So what's going on with you? You've got the magician over here. So it looks like you will be able to manifest the things that you need. Now, the magician usually has a two-bag full a kit full of all the weapons and everything that he needs to be able to bring things into reality. Uh, you know, he's divinely connected to God. And so whatever messages or whatever information, uh, he's able to interpret it. The magician card also shows, uh, you know, a person who's being very busy working to deadlines, um, you know, uh, communicating with a lot of people, maybe doing a lot of travel. So you, it looks like you're going to be very busy or you are very busy at this particular moment. But everything you think about will be manifest. So make sure you are very positive in, in your outlook. You've got the Queen of Cups over here, so you are feeling a bit isolated, a bit down, a bit depressed. Maybe you're thinking about the past too much. Uh, it's time to let go of that emotion. And maybe you're spending too much of time by yourself as well with this Queen of Cups. She's a very lonely, solitary figure drinking from her little cup by herself. So it's time for you to go and share your cups. You know, bring in the Three of Cups, which is like go and meet some friends. Um, get out there and, uh, you know, don't isolate yourself from everybody. So uh, you want what's in your hopes and fears. You want whatever, all, 
you want all the problems or all the difficulties that you have been facing to end the world card is ruled by saturn which are lessons they're very difficult lessons as well and it looks like you want the cycle now to come to an end where you have been going through a lot of problems so going into the future you've got the nine of cups the hierophant and the ten of cups the Nine of Cups is getting satisfaction and achieving. Uh, it's usually the wish card, um, you know, because you know, whatever satisfaction you wish for comes to pass. This card also warns against overindulging. So you can see this person sitting back eating grapes and drinking a lot of wine. So if you are overindulging, you need to curb that a little bit, get that energy um, back again in order so that you can focus on a goal. Uh, because, you know, overindulging um, leads to procrastination, and procrastination wastes time, and you don't end up achieving the goals that you set yourself for. So just be aware of that. But all in all, you know, you are you will be able to sit back and relax and enjoy the comforts or the things that you have worked for. You've got the Hierophant over here. That this is seeking some kind of advice or seeking some kind of guidance. So maybe in order for you to move forward, you will need to get some advice from people around you. And this will be uh, beneficial for you to move forward. And then you've got the Ten of Cups over here. So any kind of difficult situations uh, that you've been going through on an emotional basis will now come to an end. And you will be able to move forward and start something brand new. So it looks like, you know, if you've been having problems or um, going through any kind of obstacles, this is the card of, you know, starting something brand new. You've got that baby over there and, uh, you know, uh, managing to achieve all the goals that you set yourself yourself. Um, so, you know, uh, make sure that you, the advice that you're going to get maybe from family or spiritual people or even, you know, medical people with this Hierophant card is going to be able to get you to reach that Ten of um, to Cups to uh, achieve everything that you needed to achieve and that you're going to be very, very happy um, uh, with this card. So happiness coming in for you there. So I'm just going to um, draw some cards from the Animal Tarot and that is for... So the first card is the Four of Autumn, which says, Be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white. Consider, for example, whether you're spending too much versus whether you're hoarding your wealth or giving up too much emotionally versus building walls that keep people out. So the Four of Autumn um, is about finding balance and not clinging too much to things that are very material. The Four of Autumn is the Four of Pentacles, and so it's there to find that balance and stability in your life. So make sure that you're watching things, not overindulging, find, finding the middle road. Then you've got the King of Autumn over here, which says everything is going to turn out great. Projects will be stunningly successful. Exciting new career opportunities are possible. Money and resources that will come your way uh, that will be invested wisely. So you've got the King of Autumn over here, which is like the King of Pentacles. So you are going to achieve everything you want. You can see there's a lot of abundance in this card and you are moving forward. And you've got that Ten of Cups over here. So this is also achieving happiness as well. So things are going to work come your way, uh, you know, you just have to have a little bit of patience and they will um, be very positive changes. You've also got that, that wheel of fortune over here. That's a very, very positive card. So all these difficulties and burdens are now over. And you've got the Nine of Winter over here, which is like the Nine of Swords, which says your worries and fears are not real. They are f uh, fueled by focusing on the negative. And that gives it power, and that's what you are afraid of. So stop worrying, let go of your fear, and everything will be okay. So although you're feeling isolated, isolated and very alone, and things seem to be a bit chaotic around you, um, you know, this is too much of stress, you are worrying too much, Maybe this worry is also about these burdens that you're carrying. Let go of that worry. Stop worrying about the future. Let it happen uh, naturally. And it looks like it's going to be a very positive turn of events over here. Um, once you stand up and believe in yourself and have that confidence, everything comes into your hand. You've got that wheel of fortune. You let go of the past. So try to let go of any kind of negativity that you might be going through right now. Uh, because the King of Autumn, it says that everything is going to turn out great. So have that confidence things are going to go your way and you're going to achieve everything that you want. You've got that Nine of Cups over here, which is the wish card. Um, so, you know, you are going to achieve everything that you have been um, vying for, really. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.